Tonight Live begins now. West Virginia's largest university uncovers a major vehicle emissions scandal. Good evening, I'm Dan Thorne. After an apology and plummeting stock prices, Volkswagen now faces billions of dollars in fines. Nick Farrell has more on how WVU research showed that something wasn't right. When researchers at WVU received funding to test emissions in motor vehicles, they happened to secure two Volkswagen models for testing. And those two Volkswagen models raised eyebrows with emissions data that far exceeded EPA standards. Testing conducted by the WVU Center for Fuels, Engines and Emissions showed the two Volkswagen diesel engines produced emissions 10 to 35 times higher than what's allowed by the EPA. Researchers at WVU brought this data to the EPA, prompting it to lead an investigation into the matter. We would never make any kind of conclusion based off of two vehicles. I think what we did is we, you know, we presented what we saw. This led to an independent investigation by, by the EPA and by the California Air Resources Board, and that's led to what, you know, the announcements that came out on Friday. EPA testing found that several Volkswagen models included software that reduced emissions only during testing, not general vehicle use. The EPA says its allegations cover roughly 482,000 Volkswagen vehicles produced since 2008. In wake of this EPA investigation, Volkswagen is suspending the sale of its new diesel models. In Morgantown, I'm Nick Farrell, working for you. All right, Nick, thank you. In a statement, Volkswagen CEO says, quote, I personally am deeply sorry that we have broken the trust of our cons customers and the public. We will cooperate fully with the responsible agencies with transparency and urgency to clearly, openly, and completely establish all of the facts of this case, end quote. Some people in parts of West Virginia